Okay, this is now five minutes after six o'clock. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start this meeting. Uh, this is mostly an informational type meeting to inform the, the town on, on what we know so far on the water problem. Um, after we hear from people in the know that are going to inform us, uh, we're also going to have uh, some time for questions. And we also would like everyone to write their questions down we don't have time to get to your questions or you don't you know want to come forward and speak publicly. So at this time uh, we're gonna turn it over I'll turn it over to Mike King for some uh, background information. Uh, thank you all for coming. I'm Mike Key, I'm the city manager. We've got just a little ad hoc agenda here and so what uh, we plan on doing is I'm going to give you uh, just a timeline of events and how we uh, came to know of this. And then uh, Alicia Hills from Baker County Public Health will give you an update on you know, where we are today with uh, the uh, uh, in, in fact, do you call them infections? Uh, people, people who have been taken ill uh, in the community. Uh, Michelle Owen, our Public Works Director, is, will then talk about our water system usage, uh, testing information, uh, some of the ways that we've tried to curtail the water usage. We've had to shut off part of our system, so we're trying to curtail some of the usage. Uh, we'll give you an update on Samo Swim, which is a city-owned swimming pool that's uh, run by the YMCA. And then we have Bill Goss here, who's from the Oregon Public Health Drinking Water Program. And he'll talk a little bit about the uh, boil water order. That's probably the number one question that I've got over the last few days is when's that going to end? So we'll ask Bill that. Uh, and then uh, our, uh, our engineering firm who's handling the UV system that we've planned on implementing for the last couple years will be here to talk about uh, different solutions and uh, if we can, you know, if we can hurry that process up. And uh, so I'll start out with the timeline. Uh, last Tuesday evening, just prior to midnight, the city staff learned of several confirmed cases of cryptosporidium in Baker City. At about one o'clock in the morning, uh, after learning that, city staff contacted Baker County. Whenever there's an, uh, an emergency in Baker County, uh, the county has all the authority. The city has to uh, the city has to ask the county to help us, and then the county, in turn, are the ones that can talk directly to the state. So that's kind of the order of the thing. So we uh, contacted the elected officials from Baker County, shared the information with them. At about 1:30, I sent an email to the uh, Baker City Council, probably none of them got it then, but uh, I'm sure they saw it when they got up in the morning. At about 4 o'clock that morning, I met with uh, uh, Commissioner Warner, uh, Bennett, I think Alicia was there, uh, Jason Yenchipal was there, who's emergency management, and I believe at the, at the 4 o'clock meeting. Uh, at 5.30 in the morning, of course, we were scrambling to try to figure out where the cryptosporidium was coming from. Uh, you know, we didn't, we didn't know at that time that it was coming from city water, but that's always a, a possibility. And so we asked ourselves, if it is a possibility, where, where would be the most likely place for it to come in the city water system? And we all agreed it would be Goodrich Reservoir. So by 5.30 that morning, we went up and we uh, stopped the water that was coming out of Goodrich Reservoir. Uh, the, the group got together again at uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. Alicia had made several contacts with state officials, uh, uh, department or the health department, epidemiology. We had, I don't know, we had probably five or six different state officials on a conference call at 9 o'clock. Uh, just after 10, we gave a press release to the, uh, 
to the paper. Uh, we put a, some information on our website. We have, we have uh, the ability to put information on Channel 3, which is a local television station. If anybody still has cable, uh, you, would, you would be able to get information from Channel 3. Uh, early Wednesday morning, we went up and we took several samples of uh, water, and I'll talk about that just a, in just a minute. Uh, and that, uh, let's see, that same day, no, the next day we drove them to Seattle. The nearest lab that can uh, do the exam for cryptosporidium is in Seattle. So we drove those up to Seattle and had them there that morning. Uh, we're paying extra. Usually it takes about a week to get results. We're paying a couple hundred dollars extra to get uh, the results in two days. So we got those results in two days. Uh, since that, and on that same day, or the next day, uh, August 1st, August 1st, we had a couple people from the epidemiologists uh, in with the Department of Health come and begin helping us uh, trying to get an idea and isolating the source of this. Uh, they conducted some home surveys and talked to people who just kind of cold called them and asked them about uh, you know, illness in the, in the household and they're still doing that. So if you get a call from Oregon State Ep Epidemiology uh, and they ask you questions about sickness in, the fa in your family, it's, it's legitimate. They're trying to get a their head around how big of a problem it was. Because we know that uh, although we have a, only a certain number of confirmed cases, we know that it's a bigger problem than that from people who don't even go to the hospital or who might have gone to the hospital and got sent home and, and their, their uh, cryptosporidium wasn't confirmed by a lab. Uh, August 1st, uh, I did an emergency declaration for the city, and like I say, I have to take that to the county, and then the county delivers it to the uh, state. I think, this, I think the county did their own declaration of emergency, and we sent those both in, and we haven't heard back on, uh, we sent those to the governor's office, and we haven't heard back on those. Uh, let's see, on August 4th, we took some more samples and received those back on August 7th. Now I wanted to talk about the August 1st sample that we got back on August 3rd. So from Goodrich, was that Goodrich Reservoir? Goodrich Diversion, which is just down from Goodrich Reservoir, we found five uh, crypto, oh I'm sorry, we, had, we found two Cryptosporidian oocets. Uh, in the, in the raw reservoir, and so that's at the water treatment plant before it gets, the water gets chlorinated, we found two oocets. At the city shop, which is over by the tracks off of uh, Auburn, we found three. And most of these samples, I think, are taken from hose bibs or uh, faucets or, you know, something like that. And they're 10 liter samples. So they found they found two of these bugs in 10 liters of water. Uh, we took a sample on Birch Street. We didn't find any crypto. We took a sample at St. Al's and found one. And we took a sample at Lund Lane and found two. Uh, the second test we took was on August 4th. And our goal was to find out if it is city water. Keep in mind, before we did that test, we didn't know for sure that it was city water. You know, we suspected that it could have been Miner's Jubilee. Uh, we suspected that it could have been one of those events that had just finished and somebody who had been contaminated was a food handler or something like that. Today it looks more like it's probably city water. So on the August 4th test, we wanted to try to find out where the source was. So, from the mountains, there are several different streams that we collect water. And so we went to each one of those diversions, took a sample. And so there's a, a, a Salmon Creek diversion up at the Salmon Creek, and we found no cryptosporidium. There's a Marble Springs, and we found no cryptosporidium. 
There's a little marble crypt, and we found no cryptosporidium. There's a little mill crypt diversion, and we found one cryptosporidium in 10 liters of water. We have a big well up at the water treatment plant. The well can hold 200 million gallons of water, and we take water from the mountain in the spring and inject it into this well so we can use it all summer. So we tested the water in that well and there was no cryptosporidium in that well. So that's good because we're using that water now to supplement what we can't use out of Goodrich. And then we checked Mill Creek diversion and found two cryptosporidium in the 10 liter sample. We checked the residence on College and found one cryptosporidium. And then we checked uh, what's called the Elk Creek diversion and we found 913 wow. cryptosporidium. And uh, so that tells us that something's going on in Elk Creek. We, have, we immediately uh, shut that water off and it's no longer coming into town when we learned that. Uh, and that's, that's kind of where we're at today. And so I will turn it over to Alicia Hills, who uh, is a registered nurse from the Baker County Health Department. 